with the advancements in modern technology civil engineering has witnessed a significant increase in skill and expertise consequently construction projects of various kinds are being undertaken with a greater sense of urgency the adoption of the engineering procurement and construction epc method has prompted construction companies to prioritize timely project completion undertaking complex tasks represents a significant challenge working in areas prone to adverse conditions and frequent natural disasters requires exceptional effort high altitude regions particularly those characterized by frequent snowstorms and persistent cold winds pose significant difficulties for large construction companies MEIL a prestigious organization finds itself confronted with a similar situation in the construction of the Zojila tunnel however while maintaining a fast paced approach MEIL efficiently manages the challenges posed by natural disasters. The project is situated on the route from Srinagar to Leh, Ladakh, specifically in the stretch between the Sonamarg and Kargil. Construction of the tunnel amidst these exceptionally challenging natural conditions from Baltal to Meena Marg is currently underway. Over the span of 2 years the removal of snow has demanded more effort than the actual construction work itself the sheer volume of snow removed over the past 2 seasons amounting to millions of cubic meters serves as a testament to the complexity of the obstacles faced in this endeavor located in a region where snowfall is prevalent from november to march The Zojila tunnel project has encountered significant challenges arising from untimely and prolonged snowfall. Over the past 2 seasons, the project has faced 15 snowstorms, which has prolonged the presence of snow even until May of the year 2023. As a result, approximately 150 days have been dedicated to snow removal efforts. averaging around 75 days per year surpassing the time allocated for the actual construction work to tackle this obstacle extensive deployment of heavy machinery such as snow blowers dozers excavators and jcbs has been necessary snow blowers resembling vehicles effectively remove snow by sucking it in and discharging it while in operation However, this process has demanded a substantial amount of fuel consumption. Consequently, the removal of snow has taken precedence over the construction activities, emphasizing the significance of de-icing measures in frigid regions. Thus far, excavation efforts have resulted in the removal of 1 million cubic meters of soil and stones through tunnel excavation. However, a staggering 10 times that amount of ice must also be cleared away. Estimates suggest that a further 1.5 million cubic meters of soil and stones will need to be excavated for the completion of the tunnel construction. However, precise expectations regarding these excavations remain uncertain due to the unpredictable nature of ice storms including avalanches. Despite the advanced warnings provided by the meteorological department the occurrence of such storms cannot be confined to specific areas unfortunately the project has suffered substantial property damage due to the 15 snowstorms experienced leading to work disruptions in numerous instances nevertheless progress on the zojila tunnel project continues at a rapid pace The construction of the Zojila tunnel is of immense strategic importance as it facilitates the seamless movement of vehicular traffic particularly for military forces heading towards the Pakistan and Chinese borders. The project is being undertaken by the National Highways Infrastructure Development Corporation which awarded the contract to MEIL 
through a tender process in 2020. Commencing in 2021, MEIL scope of work involves the excavation of a 14-kilometer long main tunnel connecting Baltal, the base camp of the Amarnath Yatra, to Meena Marg on the eastern side. This bi-directional tunnel, situated at an altitude of 13,000 feet, is set to become the largest in Asia. Prior to this, four tunnels, collectively known as the Nilgra tunnels, have already been completed along the route from Gandharbal to Sonamar. Among them, Tunnel 1 consists of two parallel tunnels, referred to as Tube 1 and Tube 2, each spanning half a kilometer. Subsequently, the construction of two additional tunnels, called the second tunnel, is underway after passing through the Nilgra tunnels. These tunnels are being constructed at a rate of 2 kilometers each. Furthermore, the project includes the construction of four bridges over the Indus River. Beyond these bridges, the newly constructed road will run alongside the valley adjacent to the river. To achieve this, a cut and cover method is being employed involving the creation of a 2.5 km long artificial tunnel. This method essentially entails covering the entire road with a concrete and steel structure resembling an umbrella. The construction of a circular tunnel on the upper side of the road is progressing rapidly using cement and concrete steel. Additionally, there is ongoing work on a 12 km stretch of the national highway between the tunnels. In the Zojila tunnel project, special attention is being given to the construction of retaining breasts, gabion walls and air blast two walls, which are uncommon structures. These walls with a combined length of 2 km serve to prevent rocks and mud from rolling down the elevated hills. Overall, the construction of the Zojila tunnel and the accompanying infrastructure represents a significant undertaking, driven by the critical need to enhance connectivity and support the movement of traffic in challenging mountainous terrain. In addition to the aforementioned structures, the construction of catch dams represents another noteworthy aspect of the project. While check dams are typically known for water storage in drought-prone areas, catch dams serve the purpose of preventing snow from flowing across the road. These structures are being implemented along a stretch of approximately 1.5 kilometers. Another notable feature is the air blast wall, spanning a total length of 3 kilometers. Given the prevalence of the cold winds in the region, these structures are essential in preventing accidents caused by these strong gusts. Gabion walls, which are usually constructed along river banks and canals to mitigate erosion, are being employed to safeguard the road from potential landslides or rockfall due to the delicate and fragile nature of the Himalayan hills. These protective walls extend over a distance exceeding 4 kilometers. Furthermore, metal beam crash barriers, typically installed on both sides of national highways, are being erected for a length of 10 kilometers to ensure road safety. To facilitate ventilation, lighting, and oxygen supply within the approximately 14 kilometer long tunnel, Three vertical shafts resembling chimneys are being excavated. These shafts are strategically positioned from the hilltop to the tunnel's base, with one located in each of the western, eastern and central regions. The western and central shafts have already been dug to a depth of around half a kilometer. The eastern shaft, currently under construction, will reach a depth of 210 meters. These numbers clearly highlight how big these vertical shafts are. Despite encountering recent snowstorms that have caused operational disruptions and significant property damage, the organization responsible for the project continues to persevere and undertake crucial construction activities under extremely adverse conditions. By December of the previous year, the first two milestones were successfully achieved and progress has been made on more than 60% of the various tasks 
related to the construction of the 12 km long national highway. The main tunnel of the Zojila project is being excavated from both ends, namely Baltal in the west and Meena Marg in the east, progressing towards each other. Approximately 8 km of significant construction work has been completed within the 14 km long tunnel. When technically referred, the tunneling work also called as heading has been accomplished over a distance of 7 km. The Zojila tunnel project involves the construction of D-shaped tunnels resembling the letter D, employing advanced Austrian techniques. Notably, Spanish engineers are providing specialized supervision, leveraging their expertise to proactively identify potential obstacles during the tunnel excavation process. Excavation activities are conducted only after ensuring the absence of obstructions as determined by these engineers. Following excavation, a crucial task known as benching is undertaken, involving the excavation of the lower portion of the tunnel which comprises the road area. This benching work has been successfully completed for a stretch of 2 kilometers. Subsequently, attention shifts to cement lining, electro-mechanical installations, communication systems and medical facilities within the tunnel. The three vertical shafts incorporated in the structure serve the purpose of enhancing safety during tunnel travel, while the electrification and communication systems ensure seamless connectivity throughout the entire tunnel. To facilitate these operations, four high-capacity batching plants have been established at strategic locations, including Baltal, East Portal and West Portal. These plants are responsible for mixing stones, gravel, cement and water to produce concrete, which is utilized for the construction work. An impressive 6,000 metric tons of steel have been employed thus far, while 90,000 tons of cement have been utilized. The power requirements are met through the consumption of approximately 40 lakh liters of diesel, with diesel generators supplying continuous electricity in the challenging high altitude terrain where the project is being executed. The implementation of this project necessitates the utilization of over 200 different types of machinery, a dedicated workforce comprising 2,500 engineers, workers and staff members diligently carry out their respective roles. As a result, the project has generated significant employment opportunities, providing over 24,000 man-hours of employment over a span of two years in drilling the tunnel. Our entire MEIL team is committed to deliver the project within best time and we are honored in connecting last miles of India.